Of course, I'm very pleased with the uh, AG's opinion and their findings uh, because um, he certainly has upheld in the principle that I was trying to get an opinion on in that the appointments to the board uh, is on a staggered basis. Senator Atta had raised concerns over the terms of Port Board Chairman Dan Tidinko and Board Member Mike Benito. In a 13-page opinion released yesterday, Attorney General Lenny Rapatas concluded that Senator Atta was correct in theory, but his calculations were off. When the law was created back in the 1970s, the intent was to have board members serve staggered but set three-year terms. If a board member were to resign before his term expired, the governor would then appoint a new member to serve the balance of that three-year term. Well, actually, my analysis was I just went back a couple of terms. Mm -hmm. uh, in contrast, the, the, the Attorney General's office actually went back 30 years ago and did the calculations, uh, you know, and, and based on their interpretation of the law, uh, came up with the um, uh, expiration dates that they have come up with. And, and we've looked at those calculations, and we're satisfied that, in fact, uh, those calculations were correct. At first, the senator believed Tydenko's term should have ended on August 14, 2011, but based on the law, his term is actually set to expire on June 30, 2013. Now, if the governor does not appoint a new member to replace Tedinko, he can remain on the board for a holdover period of 90 days plus three legislative days. And that's yet another ambiguity Senator Atta wants clarified. What is a legislative day? It's, it's really not clear at this point whether um, whether a legislative day is uh, could be one week when the le when the speaker calls the, the legislature into session, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the week when she adjourns it, uh, that uh, has in the past always been understood as one legislative day. Um, when the speaker calls the legislature in for a state funeral, mm -hmm. is that considered a legislative day because the legislature the get called into session and then she adjourns it after that ceremony. Tydinko, meanwhile, tells PNC that he believes the actions of the board members were appropriate and, more importantly, they were unanimously confirmed by the legislature. Each and every one of us was individually uh, qualified um, under the uh, law and uh, we got the um, approval, uh, unequivocal approval and um, unanimous uh, consent and, uh, from the legislature as well as uh, being um, appointed in the first place by the governor. Senator Atta says that his concerns were based on the magnitude of the projects that the Port Board would be signing off on, projects that involve millions of taxpayer dollars. It's going to be important that that board is the board members that are sitting there are are lawfully seated mm -hmm. uh, because they're going to be take, making some very important decisions, such as you know taking out. Uh, uh, currently, they're negotiating for a ten million dollar loan. Uh, they just recently completed the purchase of a gantry crane, which required a twelve million dollar loan, mm -hmm. um, authorizing for a tariff increase, uh, entering into various contracts. I'm not going to question the motivation of uh, anybody who may have brought or raised this issue up. Um, it was curious, no, you know, that being said, but uh, nonetheless, uh, now that uh, there's been an examination of uh, whether or not the advice and consent process was followed accordingly, and even whether or not our actions have been um, uh, legitimate, um, hopefully this will put it to rest.